This is a chance of a lifetime. You can't be afraid to go out and compete and do whatever it takes. I, I don't handle losing very well at all. I get physically ill when I lose. Losing is not a good thing for me at the moment, but it is a great thing for me long range because it gives me a blueprint for what we need to do and do better. Unless you're the type of person that just says, oh, they're better than us, we got beat. No. You find out a way. Everyone has to step up and say, how can we get better so we can be champions? Life is competitive. And I, I think with the opportunity to teach young women about being competitive and it's okay to compete and we are going to keep score and it does matter, life is a lot like that. Watching my son Tyler play has just been a joy. We had a defining moment when he, he came home. He was nine years old and he got cut. And my first thought is, what coach in East Tennessee would cut my son? I went in my room and I was crying and I was had two basketballs and I saw that I didn't really work as hard as I should have. And um, she came in and I told her what happened and she said, you didn't work hard enough, did you? And I said, you know what, if you wear out both those basketballs, you will make that team. And he had tears coming down his face, and he goes, w will you help me? And I said, I will help you, but I will not start your engine. And I worked hard, and I made the team, and that just that, that taught me that I'm going to have to work for whatever I want to get. I can't just have a summit as my last name. It's not going to get me anywhere. So many kids don't have the courage to just say, I'm going to go for this. You know, that fear of failure just steps right in front of them. And I think I can teach young women that, you know, there are no barriers. You, you, you go for it. Whatever you want in life, you go for it. And basketball is a great place to learn that.